Hi, and welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about another sorting algorithm called selection sort. Selection sort has the following algorithms in order to sort the elements of each data set. The first step is to mark the first element as the lowest number. And for each iteration, we compare the lowest number with the value of the current element. If the value of the current element is lesser than the lowest number, we update the lowest number with the value of the current element. We keep on repeating this up to the last element. After reaching the last element, we swap the old lowest number with the new lowest number. And for us to see selection sort on action, let's consider the following numbers. We will arrange these numbers from least to greatest. We will use the red arrow as pointer for the current element and the yellow arrow as pointer for the lowest number. We will mark the first element as the lowest number and then compare it to the second element. Our lowest number, which is 5, is less than the value of our current element, which is 8. Since the lowest number is less than with the value of our current element, let's move to the next element. This time, our current element is 2. The lowest number is not less than to the value of the current element. Therefore, we have to update the lowest number. This time, our lowest number is 2. Then we move to the next element. The lowest number, which is 2, is less than the value of the current element. So we move to the next element. And still, the lowest number, which is 2, is less than to the value of the current element, which is 3. So we move to the next element. This time, 2 is not less than 1. And with that, we will update the lowest number. This time, the lowest number is 1. And since we have reached the last element, we will swap the first element with our lowest number, which in this case, 5 and 1. And then we will mark the number 1 with green color to indicate that this element is already sorted. And now we will use the second element as our lowest number, which is 8. And then compare it to the next element, which is 2. 8 is our lowest number, and 8 is not less than with the value of our current element, which is 2. Therefore, we have to update our lowest number. This time, 2 is our lowest number. And then we move to the next element. Compare again 2 and 6, and 2 is less than the value of our current element, so we move to the next element. 2 is less than the value of our current element, so we move to the next element. And 2 is still less than the value of our current element, and we have already reached the last element, so we will swap 2 and 8. So 8 will become 2, and 2 will become 8. And we will mark 2 with green color to indicate that this element is already sorted. And then we will use 8 as our lowest number and compare this number with the next element, which is 6. 8 is not less than 6, therefore we have to update our lowest number. 6 is now the lowest number. And then, let's move to the next element. And we compare our current element with the lowest number. 6 is not less than with the value of our current element, which is 3, so we have to update our lowest number. This time, our lowest number is 3. Then we move to the next element. And since 3 is less than 5, and we have already reached the last element, we will use 3 to swap it against 8. So 8 will become 3, and 3 will become 8. And then we will mark 3 with green color to indicate that this element is already sorted. Then we will use 6 as our lowest number and compare it to the next element, which is 8. And 6 is less than 8, so we move to the next element. 
and this time 6 is not less than 5, we have to update our lowest number. Our lowest number is now 5. And since we have already reached the last element, we will use the lowest number to swap it against 6. So 5 will become 6, and 6 will become 5. And we will mark 5 as sorted. Now we will use 8 as our lowest number and compare it to the next element, which is 6. And 8 is not less than 6, so we have to update our lowest number. 6 is now the lowest number. And since we have already reached our last element, we will swap the lowest number with 8. Six becomes eight, and eight becomes six. And we will mark six as sorted. And then we will mark eight as the lowest number. And since this is the last element, we can consider this as sorted. And now, all elements are now sorted. Let's watch again the simulation in fast motion. So that's how the selection sort sorts the elements. Now it's time to write the C sharp codes for our selection sort. But before we start writing our codes for selection sort, let's create first the helper class for creating randomized numbers for our data set.
Okay. After writing all the needed statements for creating randomized items for our data set, let's now start writing our selection sort method. At the bottom of our C collection class, we will add here public void selection sort. And we will create a loop statement here. We will state that I will start at zero. And then inside of the for block, we will write here another for, but we will use the variable j. And then we will state here the second element. And to do that, we have to write i plus one. So it means that we are referring to the second element of our array. And then on this line, we will add here a variable that will hold the lowest number. In this case, we will name this ln for lowest number. And then we will assume that the first element is the lowest number. And then inside of our innermost for block, we will write here, if the current element is less than than the lowest number, which in this case, the num ln, and then we will state that ln should be updated with the value of our j. And then at the bottom, as this for loop ends, we are going to perform swap. We have to create a temporary variable here and then assign it with the value of our lowest number. And then let's overwrite our lowest number with the value of our i, which is in this case our old lowest number, and replace it with our new lowest number. So in this case, it's the num ln. There you go. So next, we will call this method inside of our main method. We have this now the unsorted portion and the sorted portion. And before displaying the items, we will call here minum that selection sort. And then let's give this a try. Okay, we forgot to add here the console that read line. Okay, so let's give this a try. Okay, so there you go. So we have here the unsorted portion and the sorted portion. And I guess we have a mistake because supposedly 22 should be next after this number 22. So let's try fixing the problem. Okay, so I guess we have to review our algorithm for selection sort. So in this part, we have a loop that starts from zero, meaning the first element, up to the last element. Okay, so I guess we have to add equal sign here so that we'll be able to hit the last element. And then on this line, we initialize our lowest number with the value of i. And then we get the second element by adding one to our i, and this will continue up to the second to the last of our element. So I guess we have to write equal here because if we reach the last element, since i or since j will be greater than the upper limit, this will not be executed. We will not be able to hit the index out of bounds error. Okay, so let's give this a try again. Okay, so there you go. We we're able to sort the items from the unsorted items. So from the unsorted items, 
15 is the lowest. So we got 15 as the first item. And then we got 87 as the highest. All right, there you go. So we were able to sort our data set using selection sort. And that is the end of this video. See you in the next lectures.